Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Fallout 76. And more specifically, we are going to be talking about all the confirmed locations inside Fallout 76 thus far. Now, keep in mind, this means we are not going to be looking at locations that have either been speculated or predicted to be in the game. We are only going to be looking at locations that have either that have been confirmed as of being in the game, uh, either through gameplay footage interviews with developers at Bethesda Game Studios and locations that were featured in the documentary on the making of Fallout 76 by Noclip. So with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Now, for those of you that do not know, the Fallout 76 map is going to be four times the size of Fallout 4's map. This means that there's going to be plenty of unique and interesting locations to explore. And the map is broken up into six distinct regions, each with its own plants, its own uh, enemies, essentially with its own flora and fauna. And each region is essentially going to be its own biome. <clears throat> each region is essentially going to be its own biome. So let's go ahead and take a look at those regions. Let's start, let's start off by talking about the forest region. This is going to be a woods, mountainish area uh, in the west that includes the town of Charleston and Point Pleasant. It's also going to feature the Nuka-Cola Quantum Plant, and it's going to be where everyone starts the game inside Vault 76, because Vault 76 is actually located in the forest region as well. So we can assume that it's going to be a pretty low level region, and probably most likely the easiest to survive in. And probably for the first few days of the game, it's probably going to be heavily populated with players. The next area we're going to be talking about is the Sage Divide. The Sage Divide runs like a strip from north to south through the center of the map. We don't know much about this region. It is most likely going to be a higher level region. And I'm assuming it's going to be like kind of like a savage area of the map, if you will, with really... I could say, I guess you could say more difficult enemies than we'll find in the forest, but it contains the top of the world ski resort and the Green Bank Telescope. Next location we're going to be talking about is the Mire. The Mire is actually located along the eastern part of the map, and it's home to Harper's Ferry, a town that's situated along the Pomatic and Shenandoah rivers. The next place we're going to be talking about is the Toxic Valley. Uh, after the bombs had fallen, uh, on a number of chemical plants and factories, this region was blanketed with a white dust. It's also the location of what looks like a space station that has crashed to Earth. The next location we're going to be looking at is Ash Heap. This is going to be in an industrial area with, uh, you know, industrial type buildings, and it's going to be located in the southwest portion of the map. It's going to include a mining operation at Mount Blair and a train yard. The last location we're going to be talking about is the Cranberry Bog. Uh, essentially, this is going to be a swampy area in the southeast. Uh, it's going to contain the town of Otaga, notable for its monorail and a tower that's there. Todd Howard described this area as being really, really hard and not suitable for lower level characters. And from what I hear, this is going to be the highest level area of the map. And if you nuke it uh, with the nukes, it gets even more high level than that. So it's probably going to be the most difficult and one of the toughest places to survive. And it's probably going to constantly be nuked because players are going to nuke it. So the high level enemies will actually, you know, come out and you could get some really high level gear from it. Now let's talk about some specific locations that have been confirmed as of being inside Fallout 76. First, let's start off by talking about the town of Charleston, which is located in the forest. Now, Charleston is actually the capital of West Virginia, and it's home to their Capitol building, an airport, power plant, and harbor. It is going to be one of the largest regions on the Fallout 76 map, and it's where Vault 76 is, so you could assume that there's going to be a lot of players here at the start of the game. So it's bound to be one of the major locations inside Fallout 76 where people probably are going to be constantly, or new people are going to be constantly anyway. Now let's talk about the town of Helvita. Helvita is also a town in the forest region of the Fallout 76 map. It's a real town, uh, and the real town of Helvita celebrates a Mardi Gras-like holiday called Fashionach, which involves the wearing of masks. 
and reportedly from uh, Bethesda Game Studios in the documentary of the making of Fallout 76, supposedly that there's there is going to be 10 different types of ma mask to collect in the town. So people are probably going to head to these towns for those different masks. Each one will probably give you a different stat or something like that. Kind of like what all wearables in Fallout 76 give you. So it's pretty cool to see that they're going to have a bunch of different collectible masks inside this area. Including that a real life event is celebrated and is being kind of incorporated into Fallout 76. I think that's just really cool. The next place we're going to talk about is the Greenbrier, Greenbrier Resort. The Greenbrier Resort is actually a real place in real life and essentially there is a bunker under it that was built in secret during the Cold War as a place to house Congress should there be a nuclear attack. The Greenbrier Resort actually sits on a, essentially a luxury resort of 11,000 acres of land in White Sulphur Springs. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty insane that we are going to get uh, a real-life, I guess you could say, government place inside Fallout 76. Hopefully, there will be a lot of uh, stuff there or something at least unique and interesting. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see when the game actually comes out to explore it. The next place we are going to talk about is Mount Blair. Now, not much is known about Mount Blair. However, there is going to be a giant excavator on Mount Blair. Uh, there's also going to be a train yard. And it has also been confirmed that Vault 63 is going to be uh, essentially located near Mount Blair. And this is all located in the Ash Heap region of the map. Now, the next thing or cool little thing that we're going to talk about uh, that has been confirmed as a being in Fallout 76 is actually the Crash Space Station. Now this Crash Space Station is going to be located in the Toxic Valley region of the Fallout 76 map. Um, and for those of you who don't know maybe your Fallout history all that great, this was actually a space station that was supposed to be in the Fallout, Fallout Van Buren game. Uh, for those of you that do not know, Fallout Van Buren was essentially supposed to be Fallout 3. And it was a role-playing video game that was being developed by Black Isle Studios before the parent company Interplay Entertainment laid off the PC development team on December 8, 2003, effectively canceling the game. And if you actually look it up on the Fallout Wiki, you could find a picture of this actual space station. And if you compare this to that image that we just looked at, you can tell that it's actually that space station or what appears to be that space station and most likely it was used to probably launch nukes during the Great War. Now the next location that we're going to be looking at that has been confirmed as of being in Fallout 76 is the Mothman Museum. This is located in the forest part of the map not too far from Vault 76. Now guys although the Mothman Museum or Mothman essentially is a mythical creature that comes from folklore in West Virginia, the Mothman Museum is actually a real place in real life, believe it or not. And the Mothman Museum is going to be located, like I said, in the forest region. Well, it's actually going to be located in the town of Mount Pleasant in the forest region. And from what the developers have said, the Mothman Museum is going to be a truly terrifying place inside Fallout 76. So I can't wait to go explore it and see it. I mean, it's right near Vault 76. So you could literally just run into the Mothman Museum at the start of the game and see what it has to kind of offer us players. And uh, it'd be really cool to get like a haunted house type experience out of it. Or get like a really creepy, scary vibe from it. So that's going to be one of the first places I head when I uh, get out of the vault. But moving on to the next location that has been confirmed as a being inside Fallout 76, and that is the Nuka-Cola Quantum Plant. This is essentially going to be on the border of the ash heap and the forest. It's going to be located in the town of Charleston. Um, now, uh, a lot of people are speculating and saying that they're going to go there for the caps. However, if you've played any other Fallout game, you know that when you go to these Nuka-Cola bottling plants, there's really not that many caps there. And I'm pretty sure the Nuka-Cola uh, 
quantum plant is going to be no different than the other ones i'm pretty sure it's going to just be a location to explore maybe with a few bottle caps to pick up and maybe with some nuka cola to pick up but i don't think there's going to be a million different types of bottle caps there or a million bottle caps there or some ridiculous number like that i think it's going to be similar to what we've seen in the other fall games where there's very limited bottle caps there and uh maybe you could get a case of nuka cola or something like that out of going there the next place we're going to be talking about that has been confirmed as of being in Fallout 76 is the new River Georgia Bridge. Now, this is a real bridge in real life, and it can be seen in the Fallout 76 gameplay footage. Uh, so, yeah, um, really not a lot is known besides that. Uh, originally, we see a lot of raiders. We see a lot of mercenaries set up on these bridges, or at least we did in Fallout 4. But Fallout 76 having no uh, human enemy NPCs, uh, it's going to make kind of like for an interesting location to see what's actually on there. Maybe a bunch of cars where you could go and you could get scrap metal from vehicles to help build your base. But who knows how the building mechanics is actually going to work in Fallout 76. Um, or who knows if you could go over there and you know take scrap metal from the cars. But uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure if people can, they're definitely going to set up their camps on these bridges uh, so they can, like, you know, have their camp on the bridge because it'd be a pretty cool place to have a camp or a home base, in my opinion. Uh, but, yeah, that's one of the locations that's been confirmed as of being inside Fallout 76 thus far. The next location that has been confirmed as of being inside Fallout 76 is Volt Tech University. Now, this is actually a real place in real life, not vault University, but essentially vault University is based on essentially the West Virginia University in Morgantown. So, yeah, and it's going to be located in the forest region, so it's going to hopefully be near Vault 76. So when you get out of the vault, you could also go there pretty easy. So I'm assuming this is going to be a lower level area. Uh, which is going to be available for us players to explore early on in the game. And I'm pretty sure going there will uh, boast some kind of reward to do with intelligence to your character. Either through a bobblehead, a perk, or maybe even an outfit. Who knows? The next location we're going to be looking at is Wotaga. Now, Wotaga is a town located in the Cranberry Bog region, notable for a tower that can be seen from very far away, and has some broken down monorail tracks but besides that not much is known about Wotaga as of this moment inside Fallout 76. Now guys there have been other locations that have been named as of being in Fallout 76 but there's no description available for them. There's no information available about them so we're not going to talk about them but if you want me to list them off some of these include places like Alpine River Cabins, Beckley, Big Bend, Bramwell, Burning Mine, Camden Park, which is going to uh, kind of be that amusement park that we've seen in the Fallout 76 uh, gameplay footage, Green County Lodge, Green Bank, The Isolated Cabin, River Manor, Lake Reynolds, Lewisburg, Lumber Mill, The Rusty Pick, The Summersville Dam, and uh, Welch. So, uh... Yeah, guys, those are the, all the locations that have been confirmed as of being in Fallout 76 thus far. So, uh, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. I hope you didn't find it informative. Um, let me know what location you guys are going to head to first once you guys get outside Vault 76. Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, that's it for this one. Hope you did enjoy. Love you all, and thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.